All right, hey Scorpio, so we are doing your Friday night messages. This is messages from the person on your mind. You're going to know this is your read, Scorp, by your energy and what you wish this person knew. So if this does not resonate, check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I do hope you guys will subscribe if you like my energy. Let's just see where you guys are at. Scorpio, your energy. You are, look at that, you're, you, you have the desire to create happiness within you, all right? But I feel like you're kind of going back and forth. Um, it could be that you are experiencing some sudden changes, some negative aspects in life. And this could be due to this person. It could just be due to other circumstances. When it comes to the dynamic of this um, connection, though, I feel like you're you're done carrying the weight of it. I'm done. Like if, if, if things aren't going to move forward, if they're not going to progress, I'm done. I'm going to chase my own dreams, my own happiness, my own wishes. All right. There's too much negative shit that happens for us Scorpios. Um, it's time to enjoy life. It's time to pursue happiness. Um, and it doesn't always have to be with a person. A lot of people tend to think that love is what's going to make them happy um i feel like one of the biggest lessons for scorpios is getting through the scorpio the eagle and then coming into the phoenix we're on we have three levels i don't know if you guys heard me um, talk about that but there's three levels of scorpios and it's like the scorpio the eagle the phoenix that's where you guys are at you're, you're done. You're done dealing with BS. All right. You're, you're just, I'm not going to, I'm not carrying anything in me. I'm not going to carry anything within me. That's going to not make me happy anymore. What you wish this person knew. What you wish they knew. All right. What you wish they knew. Wow, this is just, I'm hurt, all right? I'm going to keep moving forward, but I'm hurt. This is the wounded warrior, all right? Um, also, too, for those of you who haven't been able to let this person in and be vulnerable, you're willing to do that with them um, because you want happiness. But what you wish they knew is, I, are you coming back? Are we going to move forward? You know, um, I do want to move forward. I want to close the gap on the distance, whether it's time or if it's just physical, you know, distance. I want to close the gap. All right. I don't want to be conflicted by this anymore. And where we have been separated, where we have been pulled apart from each other, I wave the white flag. I want to surrender to this and I want to reconcile our differences. That's kind of where I see your energy sitting at when it comes to this connection. Wanting to come out of the confliction, wanting to come out of the the mental conflict, of, or what it, what it is you're experiencing mentally, you're 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 you want to let that go. I don't want to be conflicted. I just want to I, I want to shoot it straight with you. And I, I do wonder often if this is coming back. Um, it hurts, you know, that you're not here. And I kind of feel like that's where your energy is. So what what is this person's energy? All right, so this person's energy. Oh, look at that. So you guys know I don't uh, I don't read reversals unless I feel completely drawn to, but their energy, I feel we have the Knight of Wands. So you guys are in separation. This person could be exploring some of the, I don't want to say player. I don't want to call this person a player, but we all know what the Knight of Wands is, and that's a very exploratory card. Um, this is somebody too, though, that's coming into um, their energetic um, passion, taking inspired action. All right, and it could very well mean too that this person wants to come back towards something that has left them. Okay, um, this is also somebody who moves in haste. Um, somebody with scattered energy and somebody that can be easily frustrated. All right. And that could be what they're experiencing. Um, the eight of cups is, I feel like, did I walk away from something good? Did I walk away from something beautiful or perhaps Scorpio, 
is Scorpio going to come back if Scorpio is the one that left them? All right, this person's definitely leaving it up to the universe. All right, if you are to reach back out to them, I feel like they're going to accept that. Um, with the, the Knight of Wands energy, I just kind of feel like this person could be putting themselves out there a little bit, you guys, If especially if you guys have not been talking. All right, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to make it all seem... Like, there ain't nothing negative happening, but I do feel like if you've walked away from this person, it's not that they want to leave you. I just feel like they're leaving it up to the universe, you know? Um, and while they're not waiting for you, I feel like they could just be putting themselves out there and exploring. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? So here's what I'm going to say they are not happy just because they're in this knight of wands energy doesn't mean they're having fun all right it could just be that they're scattered energy right now um i don't really see too many other people or players going on here as far as in in this person's life or even in your life i feel like they are focused on on being sad even though they don't have to be focused on it um, the Page of Swords, it could be a depiction of this person spying on you, asking friends or family what's going on with you, looking at you through tarot, looking at your social media. Um, but the Page of Swords is also wondering if the potential for a new beginning sits with you. All right. Delayed beginnings, but new beginnings, and they are successful. With the Chariot card, this is being... Um, open to success, protection, emotions. I feel like um, forward movement, how they feel about you is they do want to move forward with you. You um, bring this person balance, all right? You bring them justice. You bring them success. This is also karma. Um, and you know what? This person, like whatever happened in the past, it could be that when you left your energy or pulled back or whatever happened, um, this person has felt the burn of karma, all right, I do feel like they think about you, but it could be too that I'm I'm talking to two very stubborn people, button heads. So let's see what they want to tell you. Messages from their minds. Moon card. This is drawing out their imagination and their intuitive side. All right, the moon card. Um, to me is also a lot of dark energy and I feel like this person wants to tell you I have been in the dark since you and I haven't spoken since we've been in separation Things have been very dark very lonely. I'm in my head. All right um, I do want to talk to you. I don't want to be in the shadows I want to come out of the shadows and I want to speak to you I just don't know where to start if I'm not hearing from you You're not going to hear from me All right Let's see what their heart says. In their heart space, look at that. I do feel the spiritual connection with you. All right. In their heart space, what they want to say is you've led me on a spiritual journey. You've opened my eyes to the deepness or the depth of this connection. All right. Don't think for one instance that I'm not thinking about how deep this relationship could be and has the potential to grow to. All right, this person in their heart space knows without a doubt that this is a spiritual connection. Um, you have been spiritually guided to them. And I feel like that's why that Wheel of Fortune also is coming through, you know, fate. All right, my heart has been guided to you for a reason and you've opened me up spiritually. And what does their soul say? Their soul, all right. I see you as somebody who's very independent and unbiased. You have set clear boundaries. You know how to be direct when it calls for it. Um, you know, and in the soul level, we are wiping away the overly emotional beings. All right. Um, what's being wiped away from me is the, 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 ease, the ease of influence that can come from others. All right. And what's being wiped away from me is the nature of seeming to be cold-hearted all right i feel like the the negative aspects of the queen of swords is coming through on what's being removed from this person and i feel like the positive projections are how they feel about you okay at the soul level this person knows that there needs to be open honest and clear direct communication and it will come through if that's what their soul is speaking to them 
all right they also look at you as somebody who is very independent very successful very honest all right probably one of the most honest persons they've ever encountered in their life so the overall spread what did they want to tell you all right so what do they want to tell you the overall energy of this. I knew I seen that. Look at that. There is no one else for me. I don't care. All right. Currently, I am going through a huge shift. All right. I'm going through a huge shift where I was bound by fears, by my ego. All right. I am removing. I am being liberated from my fears when it comes to relationships, love, and connections. I am being liberated from what people think what I care, when I used to care about what people think, what I used to care about my place in life, I'm being liberated from my ego sense, okay? Everything in my life is going through a transformation right now, all right? And when it does, when things finally clear up, I'm coming for you, all right? I acted in haste before, maybe we both did, but we're going to come back and we're going to make this a success. This person is going through some huge transformation right now, Scorpio. Um, and I feel like it's because of you. All right. And I don't feel like this person's doing it because of you. I just feel like you've triggered this person's entire being into wanting to be better. So what's going to happen in the next 30 days? The next 30 days. You guys are going to see some removal of illusion, delusion, and uncertainty. All right. What I feel is happening in the next 30 days is basically you're, you're being told that if, for those of you who want the connection, you just need to remain strong. All right. You need to remain hopeful. You need to remain um, with clear conscious knowing that everything is going to be all right what's meant to what's meant to be yours will be yours okay i do feel the next 30 days you guys are going to be coming out of the hanged man state of mind make sure you set your intentions clear to the universe when this person comes back around some of you guys could be pissed off some of you guys not some of you guys could welcome this back in with open arms so be clear about what you want with the universe okay i feel like that's why the two of pentacles is coming through um, you guys are just being told to have some faith, stay positive, because the, the, the period where you guys have just had a hangman state of mind is coming through. So you guys are going to be coming out of that where you haven't seen no growth or development. You're going to see some growth and change and development. And your advice? The advice. Hold out, man. This is a soul connection. This is a soul connection. Temperance is a depiction of the soulmate connection. Um, and with temperance brings love, patience, peace, harmony, and balance. And that's what you guys are here doing to each other. Whether you can see it or not, okay? Whether you see it or not, there is growth happening here. Um, abundant growth. And this is love and harmony or harmonic type of growth too. All right. Temperance card brings a lot of love to this connection. Um, and that's what your angels are saying. We're guiding this. You guys are coming out of the break very, very soon. We're healing some things behind the scenes that you do not see. But soon you're going to see it. Muddy water is clear. You guys are going to move forward. All right. Things are going to be beautiful. Scorpio, I'm going to leave it right there. I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful weekend.